guys. Thank you guys. You guys are so nice. Thank you. Oh my, stop it. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. Because we got to get this show started. Does anyone know what day it is? Because it's not Monday. It's not Tuesday. <laughs> it is not Wednesday. It is Talia today. That is right. It is Talia today. And we have a very special person coming on the show today with us. I've known her for quite a bit now, and it's about time this girl gets on to Talia today. So let's give a warm welcome to the one, the only, the Talia Natasha Morelli. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have it's good, it's such a nice audience. I know, audience. they are wow. awesome, it's great. But more importantly, let's hear about this incredible internship you scored at NBC6 and Telemundo 51. It's been in the most incredible opportunity ever. I'm so thankful to be here. And I applied to this internship on a whim. I think I was gonna get a call back, let her know a call of acceptance. And I got the call from Eileen in HR. Shout out to Eileen, love you. Oh my gosh, what was it like when you found out who was calling you on the phone? Well, I was actually with my friend Gianna Sanchez in Investigative Services, shout out to Gianna. She hates when I embarrass her, so she's gonna get a kick out of that. I was in the car with her when I got the phone call and she happened to capture the moment and record it for me. So can we, do you think we can? Oh yeah, girl, I got you. Nancy, let's queue up that video. Wait, which one was it? Yes, perfect, yes. Which one was it? No, but like, what show? Six in the mix, probably. My gosh, that is amazing. I'm so happy for you. Can you tell me a little bit about what you learned? Yeah, I actually came up with a couple tips on my own and I call them a little light bulbs. The first one is to ask how you can help. Always ask how you can help in any situation. For example, literally it was the second day. Andrew was doing some headshots for the talent and I said, oh, how can I help? And he said, oh, I actually need a stand-in. And I said, what's a stand-in? And then he said, well, I need you to stand here so I can test the lighting and make sure it's perfect. And I was like, you got it, dude. So I went there, stood there, and I got in some pretty good headshots while I was doing it. And another example when I asked to help was when I was helping Giselle in the creative services department as well. And I asked her how I can help with the morning topicals. And I was able to edit, produce, write, and learn how it all came about firsthand with Giselle, which was spectacular. The third example of when I was able to help a lot was when there was a summer camp coming from the University of Miami for a tour of the station. And so I asked Claudia CK, my supervisor, I love you CK, how I could help because I happened to know the professor that was giving the tour and I happened to have gone to that same camp, UM Summer Scholars. It was really fun. And so I said, oh, do you think I could give a tour? And she goes, of course. And that was amazing because I was able to give that tour and my whole life went full circle. Wow. It really sounds like asking to help really goes a long way. Can you tell me what the next light bulb is? And the next light bulb starts with K. It's know everybody. Know everybody in the station. Not only just the talent, not only people in your department, but know everyone. Because you don't know when you're gonna need their help or how you can help them. So for example, I got to meet Ken and Sean and Sam. like a rig, all these really cool toy, like equipment for this one shoot at uh, an event at Top Golf for Six Mix. Although I couldn't get the things to work, the toys to work, I pinky swear that we're gonna get them to work next time. I also got to meet Erica in sales as well, and she was an amazing help because I got to shadow her, and it was awesome to get to learn about sales. We got to be really close with the security Aww, team. Oh, how'd you guys get so close? Well, it started off with me just saying hi when I would arrive and when I would leave, and then I would just get to know them and each time would come, we'd just do small talk and stuff like that. And I even got to teach Vernon how to use TikTok. Hey, Vernon. Uh, hey, let me see your back. Oh, wait a minute, that's my job. How did I get over here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so the next light bulb is why. Constantly ask why. For example, when I started working alongside the Six the Mix team, I asked, why don't we have a TikTok? Since I asked, I was able to start the Six and Mix team's first TikTok. And TikTok is one of the fastest growing apps on the market right now with 500 million users. You are right about that. It is fast growing. Hit me with the next tip. Of course. The next one starts with the why. It's yield and listen. And what I mean by this is take a step back and really digest the information that someone is telling you. When Roxy Vargas let me shadow her, the morning show anchor, I was able to listen to all of her spectacular stories and by doing that, I would catch myself. I wouldn't over talk and sometimes I'd be like, shoot, Talia, don't say that. Like, you just gotta listen. I was talking to Mike, the vice president of 
marketing. And we had this great discussion about how the TV industry is changing and digital is taking over and it's driving us crazy and we're also excited about it. And I also taught him how to use TikTok. Uh, well, I'm loving all these tips. What's up next? The next tip starts with C and it is to create. For example, I was making a package on the side just for myself and it was uh, a chef that came onto this show, Six in the Mix. And I showed my friend Gabby and she said, oh my gosh, this is so good. You need to show the producers of Six in the Mix a way you could create. And I said, thank you, Gabby, intern for the news department of Telemundo 51. And so I did. I showed them and ever since then, I've been able to create spots for their Instagram, edit, produce, interview, everything. And it's been awesome to bounce off ideas from the digital team and just get positive feedback from like Jamel, Sophia, Salima, Jason, everybody on the team. Sorry if I didn't mention you, I love you all. The next one starts with L, it's laugh. This one probably is my favorite one because I'm the best at this one, it's really funny. Um, because if you don't learn to laugh at your mistakes, then what's the fun in that? And what's the point of trying anything new if you can't laugh at yourself too? Dude, I couldn't agree more. Can you give me an example where this happened to you? Dude, I have tons. <laughs> Do tell. I got involved with making a promotional video for the 2020 decision with Andrew Johnson in the creative services department. And he asked me to email some like big names in South Florida that everybody knows. So I was the one in charge of emailing the all these important email. people. And I was emailing people from David Beckham to Derek Jeter. And I was emailing their assistants, calling them on the phone. It was crazy. And I had the opportunity to email the Miami Heat. And I was emailing them about Dwayne Wade, right? And I was asking them like, oh, what can I do? Like, I need the, I need him in this video, blah, 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 blah. And I'm about to send the email. Thank goodness I called over Andrew Johnson to double check it. And he goes, Talia, you're about to email the heat about Dan Marino for the Dolphins. And I go, shoot. Oh my gosh, what did Andrew do? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. Uh, he just laughed it off with me, it was hilarious. I didn't actually send it, so we're Gucci. It all worked out, and this is just a perfect example on why you should not dwell on your mistakes. <laughs> and all these light bulbs all together spell out this really catchy phrase, and it sounds like this. I get it in there. <laughs> sounds pretty catchy to me. Well, it looks like we ran out of the time we have today with you, but is there anything else you'd like to say before we go? Yes, I would first of all say thank you again to my supervisor, Claudia CK. You have always been my right hand man and always said yes to anything I've wanted to do. And also to Victoria Somayan, my cubicle buddy. I would always be scaring her at every time I got the chance to and she'd always be wanting Victoria. to help me. And if I forgot to mention anybody else's names, I'm so sorry. Round I've never like been four. in any station or any building that's been more supportive, welcoming, and loved ever like this before. And I really hope that I gave as much support and love to each one of you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for coming onto the show today. And this I has been Talia Today. Right. <laughs> Yay! Vernon, how do you feel that I'm about to leave? About helping me with this project. I feel great. I think it's gonna come out good. Yeah. Yeah. Zero out of ten. What do you feel? Six point seven. Ah! <laughs> Let's hope the audience likes it. Subscribe.